In this video, I will be reviewing the concepts of parallel and perpendicular lines as well as perpendicular bisectors. So if we have any equation or any line with the equation y is equal to mx plus c, we already know that m is the gradient, or you may think of it as the slope, and c is the intercept. Now when two lines are parallel, so when two lines are parallel, then they have the same slope. So for example, if this is some arbitrary line where m is equal to 1 over 2, and this is another arbitrary line where m is also equal to 1 over 2, then these two lines are parallel to each other. However, if there is a line that has a slope of m is equal to 1 over 3, then this one is not parallel to the other two. So parallel lines have the same slope or same gradient. Now when two lines are perpendicular, so when two lines are perpendicular, then m1, or the gradient of the first line, multiplied by m2, or the gradient of the second line, is equal to negative 1. And just so that you have a visual representation of what perpendicular lines look like, let's say that Let's say that you have this line over here where the slope is equal to 1. And then you have another line over here where the slope is equal to, let's extend this one as well, where m is equal to negative 1. So m is equal to, yikes, negative 1. Then what this essentially means is that these two lines intersect at a 90 degree angles. So all of these will be 90 degrees. And once again, we can plug this into our equation to see, let's say this is m1 and this is m2. Then m1 times m2 is equal to 1 times negative 1, which is equal to negative 1. Therefore, we can confirm that our lines are perpendicular. Now. For perpendicular bisectors, so let's write this up here, perpendicular bisectors, let's say that we have two points, this is point P, and this is point Q. Now what the perpendicular bisector is, is it's the point or the line that's perpendicular to the line PQ and it runs through the midpoint. So let's say that this right here is M, or the midpoint of our line, then our perpendicular bisector will run through M. So it'll run through our value of M, and it'll run at a right angle to our line PQ. So our perpendicular bisector runs through the midpoint, and it is perpendicular to whatever line or to whatever points we have. And since this is perpendicular, let's say that this is equal to our gradient 1. This is gradient 1, and this right here is gradient 2, where the gradient of this line is gradient 2, and the gradient of this line is gradient 1. So if we multiply gradient 1 times gradient 2, we should get a value of negative 1. 